This is a quick overview of a Sophie light installed in a Baron. So here we have the unit sitting on the rear shelf in the baggage area. Of course, we have our cold air ducting. Looking over to the side, we have our plug back there on the wall, a little bit tucked away. And this blue line here is our condensate going there as well. This is our remote wire going up to the front. And of course, looking over the back, we have our exhaust going through the bulkhead and our intake. So we actually have a scoop on this system feeding the fresh air through the condenser and out through the tail. To secure the system, we add some feet to hold the system in place. And we will typically add a tie down on either side of the unit so we can put a baggage strap over the top to secure it. Our removal process of the unit would be undo the baggage strap, disconnect the power wire, remote wire, and condensate line, and then the unit will simply pick up and pull away from the bulkhead. So coming up to the front, uh, we get a better view of our custom overhead ducting. Of course, we have the unit in the back there with a four and a half inch duct connecting to our custom duct on top. Um, course we have a vent for our passengers which can also be closed if you want more air up front and then we have two eyeball vents for the pilot and co-pilot now outside I have this system plug or this aircraft plugged into our GPU so we're just running off of an extension cord right now um, for this purpose I just have the remote sitting here but uh, of course, it is up to the owner, operator, pilot typically where they want it. Um, some people will just put the remote in a seat pocket. Some people will Velcro it somewhere convenient. Uh, we've even had areas on the uh, near the panel that have been utilized to, to secure this. Um, but I have the battery switch on and we're plugged into a GPU, just a standard extension cord. Of course, I can run our system on the ground to pre-cool the cabin. Just to go over the remote, of course we have our five settings here. Uh, off, of course, is off. Fan is only going to run our evaporator fan, so that's no cooling, but we're still circulating air. We have ground, which is your lowest setting. Uh, which is ideal for ground use whenever you're on low RPM, uh, medium and high. As you turn it up, you're drawing more power. However, you get a little bit more cooling. On either side, we have our alarm lights. Our temp means that there is a high temp scenario and the system shut off. And our volt means that there is a low voltage situation uh, and the system is sh slowing itself down or shutting itself off to maintain voltage. Of course, the screen here in the middle will show your voltage. Uh, that's just so you can monitor it with this system being 24 volt the closer we're getting to 24 volts the more you're pulling off your alternator or generator um, showing that perhaps if you're pulled back to idle you might need to bump a little more idle in uh, just to maintain voltage and then here on the panel we have our breaker added for the plug in the back we're simply running it off of an extension cord and we can hear the system inside pre-cooling the cabin overall the sophie light is a great fit in the the baron platform uh, we've done 55 58s uh, very similar between the the models um, just any really light twin the sophie light is is ideal for uh, super lightweight only 38 pounds the overhead ducting fits great in, in most of these cabins to deliver the the air efficiently um, and to uh, it's more of an aesthetic uh, way of delivery versus two ducks which two ducks is fine um, we just want to make sure we can get it up front as much as possible uh, but again the the sophie light we've had in a few barons now uh, with uh, very very positive feedback so uh, we'll do some more of these in-depth videos with more aircraft um, and contact us with any questions.